I was trained as a tool and die maker years ago, so I have metal working skills. And what brought me down into the Eastern Shore was actually working on boats and doing a, a yacht service. But after I got a little bit older, I realized that what I really like to do is I like fabrication work and I like working with my hands. So that led me back to dabbling in to try and create products or, or you know artwork, as you would call it. And my wife and I would go to dozens of art shows every year, so we thought we had a pretty good handle on what was out there being showed and, and everything. And I knew that I had the talent, just a matter of finding the niche where to get into to make that exactly. stuff. This, so. is, this is where I started, because my wife and I collect pottery, and we like vessel shapes. So being a, a metal worker, I decided to create um, a metal vessel, cause, and that's what I call it, a metal vessel. Is These parts are, are cut out individually, and then they're re-welded together and then they, I use metal stains and lacquer and, and, and um, create the shape of the, the, the vessel. Did those for several years and then it's progressed into doing wall pieces and now I'm doing stainless steel sculpture pieces, doing some outdoor pieces. <clears throat> and I love this boat shape, I call them pods. And to me, I've done various things with these pods. Um, the, the latest, more current one being that I've actually used colored um, pencils or crayons actually they're water-based crayons that I laminate in between coats of lacquer this particular one I call circus pods because I just had the idea of just doing all kinds of crazy colors and putting it all together and just a really fun piece so that's kind of where this came from and why black well I think I just think black um, has a presence and it, it kind of defines everything else in it um, it's a pretty neutral color when you're coming to a lot of houses so I really want your eye to go to yeah. the pod shapes yeah.